It was all about the goat racing action on this Easter Tuesday with the 95th edition of the Buko Goat and Crab Race Festival. The event, which attracts locals and tourists, took off to a culturally rich start and the excitement continued with goat and crab race action. A parade through the streets of Buko heralded the start of the Buko Goat and Crab Race Festival. This included the Mariah Old Time Wedding Procession, dancers, carnival masqueraders, and steel pan music. President of the Buko Village Council, Keegan Denoon, said the event has come a long way. At that time, some of our forefathers could not have afforded to go to horse racing. And instead of wallowing in their despair, they became creative. They became innovative. They put their hands to the task. And today, 95 years later, we can stand here proudly appreciating what they would have done for us. And the Chief Secretary Farley Augustine highlighted Tobago's creativity with the evolution of the festival. Goats with insurance. Goats that we do everything with except curry. And we find a way to race these goats and attract our young sprinters fresh out of high school very often. Those who uh, spend time in track and field transitioning to being goat racing jockeys. And then we have a facility dedicated to goat racing. To me, this is reflective of what I like to describe as the Tobago genius. This is being innovative. This is being inventive. This is about using what we have in our hands. By midday, the goat racing action began with many of their seats cheering on their goats of choice. Book Mount Pleasant Area Representative Sonny Craig stressed the need to have the goat races as a regular event in Tobago. There are events held around the time of the heritage festivals and when the cruise ships come to shore. But it would be so much more pleasing if we could have this event maybe on a monthly basis to begin with and watch it grow from strength to strength. United States Ambassador to Trinidad and Tobago Candice Bond was also part of the action pack today and made a presentation to the Buko Village Council for their milestone achievements. A sport that brings goats and people together from all over the island and the country. So whether you are a seasoned racer or a newbie goat enthusiast like myself, there's a place for you in the goat racing community. And today, I also want to highlight the Buko Village Association and the Tobago Goat Racing Association for building upon this historical event. It is a testament to the enduring impact of this festival from its humble beginnings racing the unpaved roads of Chance Street to this beautiful new venue People of all classes and nationalities are gathered here to celebrate with you. Novelty races, Tobago cuisine and the anticipated crab race were also highlights of Tuesday's festival. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.